Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Flywheel Explorer Hex, which is also known as the Hexplorer. A hexacopter version of the Explorer LR, which is officially released right now at the moment of posting this video. In this video, I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you some flight footage and give you my feedback after testing it out for the last couple of days. And in addition, on separate videos, I'm going to show you how to set up the plug and play version which doesn't come with a radio receiver and the Cadex Vista, and perform an endurance test. First of all, as you can probably notice, this is a very unique drone, and as far as I know, this is the first officially launched 4-inch hexacopter. The Explorer Hex is available in a couple of versions, which are going to be linked down below, and as far as I know, you'll be able to get a plug-and-fly version, which is the one that I initially got, which doesn't come with the Cadex Vista or radio receiver, You'll be able to get a digital version, which is going to be bundled with the Cadex Vista, and I'm not sure if you're going to get the DJI Camera or the Nebula Pro, and the analog version is going to be bundled with the Goku HM600 video transmitter, which I'm going to review on an upcoming video. In terms of specs, just like the Explorer LR, the Hex version features 1404 2750 kV motors, it is bundled with the Gemfan 4024 by bladed propellers and make sure to get at least a couple of extra sets. The top plate and the back parts are completely identical to the Explorer LR, so on the back of the hexacopter you can find a GPS unit, the 10cm long version of the atomic antenna, and on its bottom a self-powered buzzer and a 3D printed TPU part that will enable you to mount an Immortal T antenna. The GPS wires are shielded, so less GPS issues are going to occur. On the digital version, the Cadex Vista is mounted on the back of the frame using 20 by 20 mm mounting holes, and the camera unit, which has a fixed angle of about 20 degrees, is mounted on the front, and its lens is partly protected using this 3D printed TPU part. Probably the most interesting component of this drone is the GOKO F745 HEX 13A 16x16mm stack, which was specially developed by Flywoo for the purpose of making this hexacopter. The stack supports up to 4S batteries and features a 13A BLLES 16-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller that supports up to 8 motors, features 6 UART ports, a built-in barometer, 4 built-in LEDs, and 8 megabytes of black box, and weighs only 2.3 grams. In addition, on the HD version, you can find the Flywo BT Nano, which will enable you to configure the flight controller over Bluetooth using SpeedyBee's app. And this joystick connector is pre-soldered to the flight controller and is intended to power the Insta360 1R light camera, which is going to be available soon. As for the frame, the thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 3mm and its width is 7.1mm. The front and back motors are mounted using three screws and the center motors are mounted using four screws and they are connected to the front and back motors using these supporting arms, which have a thickness of 2mm. In addition, the distance between the front two motors is 11.5 cm. The distance between the center two motors is about 19 cm. And the distance between the back two motors is 10.5 cm. The weight of the Hexplorer without a battery is 219 grams, so it's almost 56 grams heavier than the Explorer LR. Including a GNB 1100 mAh Forest LHV battery, it weighs 310.7 grams. The total weight, including the Flywheel Explorer 18650 4S lithium-ion 3000 mAh battery pack is 416.8 grams. And the total weight, including a naked GoPro 7 black camera and the appropriate mount, is 254.2 grams. As for setting up the Explorer, everything is pretty much pre-configured for you, including the GPS unit and the tune, which is working great. You should pay attention that by default the FLSF option is set to GPS Rescue and the LR Army without fixed switch is enabled, and in case you are not familiar with the settings, I recommend to check out my recent video where I explain the Betaflight GPS Rescue feature. In case you have one of the binary fly versions, basically all you have to do is to bind your radio receiver with your radio controller, make sure that the sticks are working properly, define your favorite flight modes and OSD elements, make sure to install the propellers properly, and you are ready to go. In addition, in case you have the version that comes with the Flywheel BT Nano Bluetooth module, you'll be able to easily adjust the settings of the flight controller using SpeedyBee's app, which is especially useful on the go in case you are an iOS user and you can't use an OTG cable, 
and besides that will reduce the chances of breaking the micro USB connector of the flight controller. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Explorer. Unfortunately, I couldn't fly it as many times as I wanted since the weather wasn't amazing in the last couple of days, but I can still give you my initial feedback, which was very good. First of all, the big question on the table, is the hex version better than the normal one? And the answer, which is of course subjective, in my opinion is yes. The hex version is much more powerful since it features two extra motors providing 50% more thrust than the normal version at the cost of some extra weight and possibly reduced fly time. Using the GNB 1100 mAh 4S LHV battery, which is an excellent option in case you care more of performance and not fly time, I got about 9.5 minutes without a GoPro camera and 8 minutes including it, and using the Forest lithium ion battery pack I got 17 minutes of flight time, however it was an extremely windy day and I need to test it again on a calm day and see how it goes. In terms of durability, I only had a very small crash of the grass so nothing happened, and as far as I can tell the frame is well built, it flexes a bit so it's going to reduce the chances of breaking in case of a crash, and the parts that are more likely to break are the supporting arms, so I recommend to get a couple of extra ones. If we compare it with the LL4, the LL4 is more likely to withstand a crash since it is lighter and also slower. So overall, in case you're looking for a micro long range quadcopter, if you can call this hexacopter a micro long range quadcopter, I'm not sure if it fits the size or not, I think that the Explorer is going to be a great option as it can easily even carry a full sized action camera and if you're not going to use an action camera you can still fly it for a very long time. Keep in mind though that it is a little bit more expensive than the Explorer due to the two extra motors, more expensive stack and more carbon fiber parts and with the Explorer you're not going to get the propellers in your view and with the Explorer you're going to get plenty of propellers in your view so for some it might be a deal breaker and for some not, so I recommend to watch the flight footage and decide for yourself. One last thing before wrapping up this video. For the next 72 hours Fly are having a promotion, so the Explorer is going to be discounted and if you're going to get a Binance Fly version you will get a free camera mount and maybe even more important Fly will guarantees that all the Explorers that are going to be purchased during the discounted period are going to be shipped before Christmas. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and of course if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye. Keep all your game. As and laws, as and laws, as and laws, as and laws, it's all the same. As and laws, as and laws, as and laws, as and laws, keep all your games. As and laws, as and laws, as and laws, it's all the same. As and laws, as and laws.